video shows you how to operate a VHF DSC maritime station very high frequency digital selective code okay uh, doesn't matter you are a skipper or a navigator or a electrical technical officer you need to know how to operate this radio station is the is the minimum uh, communication equipment that you you need to know how to use it okay first of all let's turn on just press on it will start on the same channel you used last time uh, and this situation is one six but you can change it from here you can press zero six come on six sorry or one three and so on and as you we will go back to channel one six as you can see there is a special button also for this channel because is the international watch keeping uh, channel so every ship is mandatory to have a, a radio which will continue listen on this channel okay because if you want to take uh, to have a communication with somebody you know that you'll find this one on channel one six so you you can do very simple uh, routine uh, call voice call so you just raise out the, your handset you press the PTT button and you'll say something like that motor vessel Arcona 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 this is motor vessel Niagara 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 over and when you say over that means you you are waiting for an answer from that ship so here are my my ships information as you can see my name is uh, my ship's name is motor vessel Niagara and I have just called motor vessel Arcona. Uh, I could say my ship's name, my MMSI number, or my call sign. So you have three options to identify yourself on a radio station. Okay, uh, another very important aspect is to know how to, to, uh, sorry, bef before we do that, let's say what we will receive from the other ship. So when we, we set our uh, routine voice procedure, the other ship will respond as uh, something like that. Motor vessel Niagara, this is motor vessel Arcona, over. So in this moment, we know that both of us uh, communicate on channel 16. But channel 16 is only for distress and urgency communication. So we need to suggest him or she to change the channel. So I will say something like that. Uh, motor vessel Arcona, this is motor vessel Niagara. Please uh, follow me on channel 13. I repeat, channel 13, over. So I will wait from, uh, for him to respond me. And he will say something like that. Uh, motor vessel Niagara, this is motor vessel Arcona. Copy that. I'm changing to channel 13. Over. So after I received his uh, message, I will go on channel 13 and I will uh, call him again on voice call. Yeah? And I will say again motor vessel Arcona, this is motor vessel Niagara. Over. And everything, if everything is okay, he will answer me, motor vessel Niagara, this is motor vessel Arcona, over. So for starting from now, I can discuss with him whatever I want. But, but of course, ev everyone who is on channel 13 can hear us in a range of ab about uh, uh, 50 nautical miles. Good. Uh, and that's why it's, uh, it's mandatory to... to uh, tell your ship's name and his ship's name every time you start a communication. Uh, let's go back to one, one six. Yeah, after you finish the communication, you can say uh, something like that. Motor vessel Arcona, this is motor vessel Niagara. Um, uh, going, uh, I, I will go back on channel one six. Uh, Roger out. So he will know that I will no longer be uh, on channel 13, so I will be on channel 16.
<coughs> as, I, as you can see, I never say uh, 16, I say 1, 6. <coughs> now, uh, another way to do this one, so you, if you want to, um, to communicate with another ship, you can send a digital selective calling routine alert. Uh, this digital selective calling is uh, is working on channel 70. Every radio station with digital selective calling, yeah, like this one, uh, is monitoring this channel. So in parallel. So it doesn't matter if you are on channel 16 or 13. Yeah, your radio station will will scan channel 70 all the time. Okay, so you can send different uh, alerts like distress one, like urgency, safety, or routine. So let's send it, uh, let's go back once, one six. Let's send the routine one. So first of all, press the X call. You can send to shore, ship, and you have many other options here, but let's send to a ship. Now you can enter the MMSI number of the ship you want to call. And I am in a simulator where I have uh, six more ships with me, but I will uh, I will send this message to Arcona, which has this MMSI number. But let's say you you don't have this MMSI number, so you can uh, find it from automatic identification system, and for Arcona, let's say you have you will see that the MMSI number is. Two to power one zero five power one zero. Okay, as you can see, there are nine digits. After that, you can press accept, and you need to key in the working channel because you send this message on channel seven zero, but you need to have another channel for voice communication. And for bridge to bridge communication, it's used one, uh, usually one three if it's free nobody else is already speaking there or uh, for small uh, boats or yachts it's uh, six so you can press zero six okay but let's go back to one three now i will press accept and i will press send and my my alert is traveling on channel seven zero i will go to that ship to answer my So I can raise the handset and it will automatically connect on channel 13 or I can press here view but as you can see there is an LED here which uh, notices us that we have a uh, uh, call from somebody else so we press view we have uh, a few information here it's important to see the MMSI number and the type it's individual uh, routine yeah, from this for from this number and it's also a reply for our our message I will press more and it's also uh, is the same channel I asked the ship to 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 communicate together but it will have the options to change it but uh, as you can see uh, it does it didn't change uh, change it so I will just press connect and both stations are on the same channel now, channel 1-3. So nobody else knows that I tell him to go from channel 1-6 to 7-1-3 because my message traveled to everybody but only the MMSI number I, I entered uh, in the radio station received my message. And now I will do the voice <laughs> procedure. So it will be something like that. So raise the handset, press the push to uh, press to talk button or push to talk button and you'll say something like that. Motor vessel, Arcona, 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 this is motor vessel, Niagara, 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 over. And he will respond me like motor vessel, Niagara, this is motor vessel, Arcona, over. So now I can 
pass him different uh, whatever I want. Okay. Um, what else? <coughs> oh, yeah. You need to know how to set up the radio station. So, when you turn on the radio station, first of all, you need to uh, set up the volume of the speaker, uh, as you can see here. And this one is very important is the squelch. This one, the squelch. So, if I lower the squelch, there will be a noise. It's very annoying. So, you need to increase the squelch until the, the voice disappear. disappears. So, <coughs> you, that, that's the simplest way to, to, to set up the squelch. You don't need to put a, like a very big squelch, which means, by the way, uh, selective amplification. I don't need to, to filter too much my information. So I, I need to filter only this noise. Because if I increase it too much, it will filter uh, the information also. So I, if I will discuss with somebody who is uh, far away from me, I, I will be uh, I will have an, an interrupted interrupted uh, communication. Good. So in normal in normal situation, this is the right s setting for this radio station. Okay. Uh, what else? You you can also go to TX call to sh uh, to more sorry more and press extended. Uh, here you also you have the options to send to different uh, to send different types of uh, extended call, but we just choose individual. Enter the MMSI number, accept, and you you will find here the all four types of uh, uh, DSC alerts: routine, urgency, distress, and safety. And as you can see, business, but business it's uh, it's a routine uh, <coughs> routine alert. Okay, good. Uh, also, it's important to know how to test the radio station. I will press here. Whatever, wherever you are, uh, where you are on the menu, if you press tell DSC, it will bring you on channel 16 here, or you can press 16 here, and uh, you can you cannot uh, st uh, remain stuck in your menu. Okay. Uh, so test the radio station. Press Shift and Function. As you can see, there are some uh, orange text on this button. So if I want to uh, uh, press function. First of all, I need, I need to press shift, then zero. Oh, I will select function. And now I'm in the menu of the radio station. I will press DSC, digital selective calling. And more. And I will go to test. And I have an internal test and external test. So for internal test, I will receive uh, an alert from myself, individual call receive. This is my MMSI number. I press view. <coughs> yes, as you can see, individual routine. It's a test. So the radio station is working very well. But also, I need to test my external communication. So if my radio station is able to transmit and receive information, so I need to do an external communication. And when you enter the external external test, you also need to enter an MMSI number of a coast radio station, like 00264 uh, for Romania and uh, other uh, four more digits. But uh, for this uh, simulator, it's not simulated. This, uh, this option is just say that it send uh, an external test. Okay. And what also is very important is to know to send a distress alert. If you don't have any time, uh, your ship is on fire or you are sinking very fast, you just raise the button, uh, raise the protection of the distress uh, button and press for five seconds this one. Okay, but if you have time, yeah, if you have time, you can enter to TX call uh, more distress and you have different type of of distress situation, collision, sinking, piracy, uh, man overboard, and so on. Let's say, 
somebody is overboard and I select a man overboard you, ha you have your position here your uh, radio station receive the position from GPS yeah. uh, okay go back and just press five seconds on the distress button my radio will uh, retransmit this distress call every four minutes as you can see here and meanwhile I'm on channel 16 and I can send a distress alert uh, something like that very quickly uh, mayday 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 this is motor vessel uh, Niagara 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 mayday my call sign this is motor vessel Niagara. My call sign is 2117 power 5130. My call sign is Delta Echo Foxtrot Lima. My position is latitude 00 degrees 00 minutes north, longitude 00 degrees 00 minutes east. I have a man overboard. I request immediate assistance. Roger out. So this is an example how to send a distress uh, alert and a distress voice message. Okay, uh, only a radio station, a coast radio station, can uh, send me an acknowledgement for my digital selective calling distress. If another ship's ship wants to transmit me uh, that he received my my distress alert, he, uh, he or she will send me a voice acknowledgement. So I repeat a voice acknowledgement, not a reply on digital selective calling. It's, it's forbidden to do that. So I, it's important to remember that only a coast station can reply to a digital selective call distress alert. Okay? Because uh, once you, you receive this acknowledgement your retransmission it's is turned off and uh, it will be like that good so the idea is everywhere you are on this earth when you send a distress you send a distress to go to the coast station yeah uh, it's less probably to have a ship around you that can help you if you send your distress alert to the coast station they they have they have the the right equipment to 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 help you okay that was i think enough for for this radio station so we learned to set up the radio station to send a distress and a routine digital selective calling and to test the uh, internal and external test the uh, vhf radio station okay thank you very much see you soon